what's up guys so today we're going to be making fried fish so i'm using the porgy fish these are already been cleaned and washed and i'm only going to be using two so these are vegetables that we're going to be using and the flour that i'm also going to be seasoning later you guys will see that so i have my onions red peppers green peppers carrots and garlic and i have my seasoning and you guys are going to see what seasoning i use in just a minute So let's get started. So what we're going to be doing, we're going to be seasoning the fish. And we're going to also make sure we get into all the crease and everything. Don't forget to like this video if you guys do enjoy it. And if you guys did remake this, let me know how it did come out. So I'm just going to make sure I get it all the crease. I get it all over the fish and each side. And there you go and I'm just going to be doing the same thing to the other fish as well and that's it so now what we're going to be doing we're going to be getting our flour ready as well so this is the vegetable that I'm going to be using later for our sauce and these are the seasoning that I'll be using for the video so I'm going in with some adobo some Old Bay seasoning, some salt, black pepper, garlic, onion powder, and I'm just going to be mixing everything in. So now what I did was I coated the fish all over with the flour, make sure it gets everywhere so it can have that crunchy taste when you fry it. And then shake off all the excess from the flour. And I'm pretty much going to be doing the same thing with the other fish as well. And that's how it looks. So we're just going to be frying the fish now. So make sure your pot is really hot before you put your fish in because you don't want your fish to stick to the oil and stick to the pot and it's just a whole mess. You don't want it. So make sure it's hot before adding the fish in. So now when one side is finished, I'm just going to be flipping it, flipping the other side. A spoon help. It's good to have like two things in your hand while you're doing this so it doesn't like spill and cause a mess. And I'm also not using a big pot for these fishes. So now that both sides are finished, I'm just removing it from the pot. And I'm going to be getting the sauce ready. So I'm going in with some oil. And I'm going to be making sure it goes all over the pot. Just swirl it around a little bit. And once that's hot, I'm going to be adding the vegetables into the pot. You can cut these smaller if you guys want. I also made like rice. So that's why I'm also making it this side to like eat with the rice as well. But you guys can cut it to your preference, smaller, bigger, it's up to you. You're eating it. So once that's cooked and like sauteed just a little bit, not burning the onions or the vegetables, I'm going to be going in with some tomato ketchup. And I'm going in with some water. And I'm just going to give that a mix. This is how we're just going to be making the sauce for gravy. So I'm going in with some sea salt. If you don't have sea salt, you can use regular salt as well. I'm going in with some black pepper. And you guys can feel free to add more seasoning or less if you guys also want. And I'm going in with some thyme. I'm going in with some Italian seasoning. And I'm going in with some parsley flakes. You guys can use also fresh parsley as well. And I'm going in with some chives. If you don't have chives, you don't have to add this, but I just wanted to add it. So now we're going to be mixing everything in. 
And if you guys want a little bit of heat, nothing too spicy, you can go in with some crushed red pepper as well. But if you don't want any spice, no kick, don't do it. And then we're just going to let that cook, let the sauce, let all this seasoning marinate and be in it. And then we're just going to cover that for a little bit. And there you guys go. Looks so good. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.